Every digital marketer, content creator, and even most entrepreneurs are gonna be using software like Evernote, Asana, Trello, Workflowy, Google Docs. Up until 2017, 2018, 2019, this is all we had. We had to do content in one area, we had to do project management in another, and we also had to find ways to remember things, track things, report on things, style things, organize things position things like it got a little out of hand and I felt that sometimes it was software overload. I'm in such a better place right now. Because Notion is really doing it all. Um, Notion is such a powerful content tool, the way it structures information. I think you guys are going to be mind blown by how potent this software is. So if you want to get started right now, go download Notion in the link below, richandniche.com slash Notion. That'll get me a little credit. That might even get you a little credit. And uh, you're going to be able to get this software for free. Now, there will be a paid option later on that I suggest you take. I think it's about $10 a month. But this software is going to replace at least one other software, so you can just cancel that. Now let me jump into the software and try and convince you how awesome this software is. I mean, it's really hard to explain it on a blank note, right? Like if I want, I can start a new page and here you are. It kind of looks like a blog editor. It's kind of like a WordPress plus a Google Doc, but you're not really sure. There's all these information here. And that's because each note has the potential to be a table, a board, a list, a calendar. That could be so much. And it can also be empty. Um, so you might want to give your page title, you know, a name. And what's really cool is you can do things like add backgrounds and add icons. Now, I know that seems a little silly, but I actually think it's so important to give some aesthetic and some visuals that complement our information. It's good on the eyes. It's good for the brain. It makes information more fun. So I really like this stuff. Now, um, just to show you the basics, you know, let's go one. Here is the number one thing you need to know. You know, and I'm just gonna down duplicate that. I duplicated that really quickly with uh, Control D. So there are some shortcuts with this software. And as you can see, I quickly built a numbered list, but those numbered lists could also easily be a bulleted list. It could be a toggled list. It could be a to-do list. So very quickly, you're already seeing, wow, that's like kind of a project organizer and a content organizer in one. Now. There's some great things here. I can also add headings. I can color those headings. I can give the heading a background color instead, which is interesting. Like these are a lot of new things you couldn't do before. And so that's why, um, where did I wanna go to this file, a really basic file. A few videos ago, I was working on teaching you guys the 12 point funnel checklist. And I was just building it out in my mind, like what I was gonna say and I made a visual drawing of it. And you can see, you can like drag and drop images. It's very easy. One thing I really like about Notion is the ability to take data and essentially drag it to the right and start an instant new column. I think that is so, so, so powerful um, that we can start organizing data in a more fluid way because sometimes we want to look at data all on top of each other but sometimes we want to look at data side to side so i really like that ability and you can keep going and you can also um, you can actually adjust the column size yourself so it's really really nice this works really well because it's mobile responsive and it just allows you to position data in a stronger way but yeah I love Notion on my phone for quick reference. I use it on my iPod pad as well. But I'll be honest, I primarily want to use Notion in a large screen so I can see all my data, right? Um, you know, I just wanted you guys to see and get a quick sense of this software. I didn't want to make this a detailed tutorial. What I want you to do is go download Notion, richandniche.com slash Notion, and get the software and start playing around with it because you're going to quickly realize on your own and that's the only way to figure this stuff out is to go do it on your own 
um, go see what you can do and you're gonna be so surprised. Like I haven't even shown you the best part. When I click the plus sign, I can actually add so much more. I can um, add tables and boards right here. I can add images and videos. I can add audios and codes and files. I can embed Google Docs, PDFs, tweets, maps, uh, figmas, looms, looms. You can embed looms. I'm building out an entire SOP library with loom and notion. Type form, you could put quizzes and surveys within this, very powerful. So why is this all important? Well, I basically told you guys that you need to use this and if you don't use this, you're lost, trust me. But the rest of this week, I'm gonna be uploading more videos um, I'm going to go over why I ultimately made the switch from Evernote to Notion in the top five features. I'm going to show you guys five ways I use Notion as a digital marketer. I'm going to do seven reasons why you should build your next online course in Notion and then the future of SaaS evolution. I'm going to talk a little bit about how Notion really came in and dominated their niche and is potentially giving Evernote a run for their money. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want you to try Notion. You're gonna realize it's a great content management system. There's so much to do. Give it a shot. There's so many templates. They have a million templates. That's what's awesome too. Like you can go down here into templates. They have so many from design, roadmap. Let's do this. Let's just go through this stuff. Look at all the different ways you can organize your class notes, job applications, a reading list lesson plans okay go into marketing brand assets meeting notes media list Check, write down your goals your task list user research docs meeting notes product wiki i use this style quite a lot sales crm look at that numbers emails this is infinitely potential for you i wouldn't waste your time okay so that's it for today's video, guys. Look forward to the rest of the week. I'm uploading a video every day this week, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're interested in software for digital marketers, entrepreneurs, content creators, product designers, like this video. Because if this video gets a lot of likes, I'll know that you guys like the desktop screen share. Typically, I like to do a mix, sometimes screen share, sometimes face-to-face, -face, and that's how I teach as well. When I teach my courses, I do sometimes lecturing, and then I do a lot of screen share. Because as a marketer, as a creator, as a digital enthusiast, like knowing the platforms is half the game. Every platform you know, you extend your capabilities. I guarantee you Notion will increase your speed, it will improve your second brain memory, you'll keep more powerful information in the correct spot, and I believe time will be saved if I didn't say that one already. You're gonna save a lot of time with this because you will just have everything you need in the right place. You can work with less, you're gonna save money. You're gonna save money because I cancel the sauna. I don't have Evernote Premium anymore. I don't have Trello Premium anymore. I tried all of those and now it's just this. And I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video, but I also like Miro and I also like Airtable. I'll put links for all three of those down below. But this week, it's all about Notion. So stay tuned, get the software, go crush it. See you guys next time.